Today we are going to read our poem second, the Labanum Top. This poem is written by Ted Hughes. And this poem is an inspirational poem and motivational poem. Through this poem, poet Ted Hughes wants to inspire us that our life is full of struggle. If we want to live a happy life, we have to do hardships in our life. So, the Labanum top. This is the name of the poem. So, first question is there. What is Labanum? So, Labanum is a short tree. And that tree has yango branches. The tree has hanging branches. And that tree has yellow flowers also. This poem is composed in the month of September. And September is the month of autumn season. So, the leaves also turned yellow in the month of September because it is autumn season going on and all the seeds of that Lebanon tree has fallen down have fallen down and the next one is the tree so the tree is silent there is no noise it is still there is no noise in that tree but when a goldfinch bird came on that tree, that tree started. The engine of that tree started. There is a moment, there is a noise, there is a chirping. Without that bird, there was a silence. But when that bird came, there, there is a voice started. All the birds, all the younger ones of that goldfinch bird started chirping. They were asking food from their mother. Yes, so we are going to read this inspirational poem. I hope you will enjoy it. So let's start the poem. The Labanum Top. It is written by Ted Hughes. Let's start it. The Labanum Top is silent, quite still. In the afternoon, yellow September sunlight. A few leaves yellowing. All its seeds fallen. So we can see a pictures and in that picture there is a tree and the tree is a Lebanon tree and yes it is given near the title of the poem is Lebanon top so we can see the here this is the Lebanon top and this Lebanon top is silent it is quite still there is no sound there is no voice so and this uh, tree is silent in the month of September and in the month of September, there is a day and it is the afternoon of that day. day. And what said next in the line? A few leaves yellowing, all its seeds fallen. So it is said by the poem that that the trees leaves getting yellow. These leaves, the trees leaves are getting, are turning yellow. And its seeds have fallen down. All seeds have fallen down. Yes, so this is a labanum top, this is a labanum tree and this tree. Yes, so examples and meaning also given there. So in the above lines, the poet says that he saw a labanum tree whose leaves were yellow. The tree's top is still and silent in the day time of September month. It is autumn season and all the seeds of the trees had fallen. The poet has used the word yellow for leaves and sunlight. Yellow symbolizes silence, death and beauty. He described the whole scene of the tree with this color. So, now in this stanza, we have read what is saying that the labanum top is completely calm. There is no sound And this is the September month and September month दोपहर बाद की ये बात है और उस पेड़ की पत्तियां पीली हो रही हैं और उसके सारे बीज गिर चुके हैं नेक्स्ट इज एंड वन मोर थिंग इज देयर शो व्हिच लिटरेरी डिवाइस यूज्ड हियर शो एलिटरेशन यूज्ड हियर एलिटरेशन शो इन द लाइन सितंबर सनलाइट इट इज द रिपीटेशंस ऑफ एस एस सितंबर एंड सनलाइट नाउ द टाइम यस इट इज द सेकंड टिल द गोल्फ इज कम्स with a twitching chirping as sudden as a startlement at a branch end then slick as a lizard and alert and abrupt she enters the thickness and a machine starts up 
of chitterlings and a tremor of wings and trailings the wall tree trembles and thrills yes show what is said there till the goldfinch comes so we can see there is a pictures of a bird and that bird is a goldfinch bird and with the twitching chirp when that bird comes to that tree when that bird that goldfinch come to that tree she started twitching she started flipping her wings and as sudden as when the tree was silent when that tree uh, sorry when that tree bird came on that tree what happened that that sudden as and startled man at the end of branch and then slick as a lizard that tree bird that tree goldfinch as slick yes you hear as slick so as slick as a slick mean this is a simile so because that bird goldfinch bird as compare as a lizard so that bird is as slick and that and alert and that the bird is alert also that is a very carefully and abrupt so quickly so she enters the thickness and that bird came to that branch and that uh, that tree that uh, bird sat on the branch and see quickly see quickly enters in the thickness of the leaves and when she entered in the thickness of the leaves then amazon starts up then what happened what happened all the birds all the yes you uh, couplings start chirping of chittering and a tremor of wings and trillings the whole tree trembles and thrills yes we can see uh, you can see there is this uh, a goldfinch yes feeding her couplings next one is these are the word meaning given there and uh, yes so a goldfinch bird comes to end the death like scenes of the tree and makes a sudden chirp of sound the birds while rapid alert and precautions like a lizard and uh, sits on the branches of the tree as she moved towards the thickness of the branch her younger one started chirping and doing vibrations with wings making a sound like a machine because of the moment of the birds and her young ones the tree starts starts to shake and thrill the poet has given two opposite scenarios of the tree the tree first being death like and still and then giving life and shelter to birds and her young ones so which literary device used here alliterations alliteration in tree trembles simile slick as a lizard and personification the whole tree trembles and thrills so in this stanza in the second stanza what is said by the poem kya kehta hai ki wo bird silent hai wahan koi awaaz nahi thi kab nahi thi jab koi nahi tha wahan pe var wahan pe goldfinch naam ka bird aata hai aur wo jaise hi thickness mein ghusta hai to phir wo bird jo hai आवाज करना शुरू कर देता है और वो जो पेड़ है जो जिंदा नहीं लग रहा था फर्स्ट स्टेंजा में वो फिर से शुरू हो जाता है फिर से उसमें जीवन लौट आता है इट इज सैड और वहां पे किस क्या मशीन चल पड़ती है और बताया गया है कि वहां पे जितने उसके जो यंग वंस थे उस बर्ड्स के गोल्फिंस के जो यंग वंस थे उन्होंने चरपंग करना स्टार्ट कर दिया था दे वर आस्किंग फूड फ्रॉम देर मादर शो नेक्स्ट वन इज है it is the engine of her family she stalks it full then flutters out to a branch and showing her bird face identity mask so the engine of her family it is the engine of her family the laburnum tree and the goldfinch bird is the engine of her family so who is the engine of the family yes that goldfinch bird is the engine of the family and this is the engine for the both yes you first one is uh, it is the engine of the bird and it is the engine of the family yes she provides food to her young ones and moves to the other branch end her dark color her dark color strips face is visible as her body is yellow color and hides behind the yellow leaves of the tree so which literary device used here metaphor used here and in which line metaphor used here it is the engine of her family yes this is the metaphor so next one is 
then with eerie delicate whistle chirrup whisperings she launches away towards the infinite and the lebanum subsides to empty yes show eerie weird and strange whistle chirps gentle whisper like the chirping of the birds subsides and diminishes so after reaching the end of the branch the birds make a sweet chirping sound just like whispering and fly away towards the infinite sky it again makes the labanum tree silent and death like when that goldfinch bird flew away from there that tree that labanum tree again became silent there is no sound so this was the point thank you